lot in common that we can learn from your university and hopefully that we can share and uh, benefit you as well. Uh, so first, a few fun facts about Michigan, and we have um, some pictures of, of our actual delegations that come. Um, Michigan, as I mentioned, is approximately 10 million residents. Uh, we have a, a, a space of about 251,000 uh, square kilometers. So it's a large space with not such a big population, um, and uh, so there's a lot of nature. Um, the word is, uh, Michigan is derived from a Native American word meaning large lake. We have a lot of water in, um, in Michigan. In fact, we're surrounded by the Great Lakes, which is the largest freshwater source actually in the world. There's five Great Lakes. And um, in fact, the motto of Michigan is, if you seek a pleasant peninsula, look around you. It's a very beautiful place. Um, our organization works in Detroit which is the largest city in Michigan, a very interesting city that is home to the big three. And those big three are automakers, um, it's Ford, GM, General Motors, and Chrysler. But we also have a big three of education institutions, and those would be uh, Michigan State University, University of Michigan, and Wayne State. And we have representatives from all of three universities here with us today. Um, some things that are similar between Pakistan, particularly Sindh province, and uh, Michigan, and Detroit in particular, are music traditions. I know you have beautiful music and arts here. Michigan also is the home of some special kinds of music, like Motown and techno. Um, we're in Indusa, we're in a, the, our city uh, borders Canada uh, to the north, and we have the largest trade crossing with Canada. And our um, motto for Detroit is, I think, very moving. It says, we hope for better things, it will rise from the ashes. Detroit had a terrible fire, it's had a lot of struggles, but we keep working to make things better for ourselves and um, hopefully for the people around us as well. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about Global Ties Detroit. My organization is called Global Ties Detroit. We are an NGO in Michigan. Michigan is uh, abbreviated MI. And we conduct international exchange. We believe through people-to-people -people contact, when I get to meet you, and you get to meet me and come to my home, that we learn more about each other, that we really um, break down stereotypes and break down borders. We build trust, we get to know each other better, and uh, we create a more peaceful and prosperous world. So our uh, partner is the U.S. Department of State to help us uh, achieve that um, objective. The way we do that is to connect young leaders like yourselves, people who are the future of Pakistan, and we connect them with leaders in Michigan through those people-to-people -people interactions. Um, Detroit, as I mentioned, is a center of uh, global commerce and cultures. As I mentioned again, biggest trade uh, partner uh, crossing to Canada and lots of industry, as we mentioned, the auto industry, and world-class higher education. We want to work together to solve problems that are affecting us at home and affecting you at home. These are things like climate change, which obviously has affected this area terribly. It affects us as well. Uh, economic development, uh, Detroit had suffered very greatly. Uh, we had a bankruptcy in our city. We had a lot of poverty, so we want to learn how to make people, life better for people. We are very interested in inclusivity. So how do we make sure that everyone has opportunities? How do we make sure we make, make everyone feel like they belong? And then, of course, public health is a huge concern, particularly as we emerge from the pandemic. Uh, some of the fun things we do when people are on these exchanges, we really want to get to know people to people. So we have opportunities in addition to seminars and meetings and site visits. We think it's very important to know uh, the, the history, uh, social life, cultural life. And so I have some pictures of uh, visitors that have a chance to connect with each other, visits to the lake, visits to museums, uh, dinner outside, dinner together in, in homes to really get a sense. And that's the pictures that I've added. Um, and so I wanted to just mention, we're doing a project now called Mishpak Diversity, which has been funded by the 
U.S. consulate in Karachi, uh, some of the goals are to establish partnerships between our universities um, so that would facilitate more faculty exchanges, facilitate more student exchanges, joint research projects, even Zoom to Zoom conferences, connections, students meeting students at various universities. We uh, <coughs> want to explore joint areas of research uh, that can tackle some of those problems that both of our communities are affected by, and we also want exchange opportunities. We believe exchange is for everyone, that everyone benefits from an exchange, whether it's through Zoom, the more fresh and new ideas, the more we're enriched. And then we want to promote and implement inclusive practices so that people in our community can benefit from these opportunities. And very quickly, um, we have representatives from the universities, but I wanted to give a couple of highlights to the university, um, the university partners. Um, uh, Wayne State University is one of our university partners. It is uh, located in the city of Detroit. Uh, I just want to point out that it's a very diverse university with students from more than 70 countries. It um, is, um, it's ranked number one for social mobility, meaning people who come from first generation students, meaning people who never went to college before, they can go to the university and then rise up and have more opportunities. Uh, another university, our biggest university in Michigan, is Michigan State University. Again, very diverse uh, university with lots of academic programs, lots of research opportunities, um, and, and very beautiful and a huge campus. Finally, uh, University of Michigan is world renowned as the number one research uh, university uh, in our state, it's, um, and, and really in the country. Um, and it, it has, you can see, nearly 900 million in uh, federally sponsored research, uh, 100 and, I mean, 1.5 billion in research expenditures. And I finally thank you for your time. I'm happy to take questions after the rest of the